Hello there and welcome to this little video explaining how I run MetaTrader in the Docker container. I built this recently after a bit of research uh, here and there, how to make it. Uh, so here I would like to demonstrate how I do that. First of all, why I do this is, well, probably because I want to have a backup of my, my system, my setup. Um, and I want to have that easily distributable. So I can, for example, I can uh, take my image and run it on the cloud server, which has Docker engine. Um, or I can maybe, if, if I want, I can reuse it on the different computers, um, depending on my needs. Well, uh, so let me just demonstrate how the system works. Well, I built a Docker image and I started up the container already. Um, here, I'll just type a command, docker ps, which will list my, all my running container. In fact, I'm using this, this is my container that I'm running now. It's the status of this uh, is shown here. It's basically running and um, working. And um, this container is, is launched from the image. This is the image name. Uh, it's already running for two days, actually, <laughs> and um, yeah. Uh, let's see the comment that I'm using to run this container. It's at the moment is just this um, kind of a, this command line. It tells Docker container. I'm exposing ports. I'm also specifying uh, methods of connecting. In particular, I'm telling um, telling which port to use, and I'm mapping where is the certificate, SSL certificate. It's stored on my host on this machine. And um, I'm exposing the certificate to my, uh, to my image. And at the same time, I'm also mapping some other folders to, uh, from the host and to the Docker container. I'm also, uh, here is not written, but I'm also kind of mapping another folder to actually, which is here. To, uh, to, to, to bring, to kind of a drop to drop the uh, MetaTrader terminals there. This, the, here they are. And uh, last line is just spec to specify the name of the image. Okay, cool. Uh, once, uh, once we uh, launch the container with this command, we can basically, what we can do, we can see into container and we do this with uh, this, uh, just with a, uh, uh, ordinary browser by typing localhost 2.6081 and we get this um, this type of funny um, we get this connection once again I can just close the window reopen my Safari and type HTTPS uh, 2. localhost and I have my encrypted connection to this container uh, last point that I want to show you that um, I, as I mapped the folders uh, to, to the desktop, uh, this, this is the folder where the content of the, of the terminal lives. And uh, this is the folder that you can see here. This is exactly this folder as, and I'm mapping them uh, so uh, I can use the, I can drop the, con the, 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 the content of the terminal into the container. Uh, if I want to launch uh, the um, terminals here, and this in this case I'm just using command line, I'm using wine. Uh, so just to show you that it's the command is here. I'm just uh, telling uh, wine uh, to launch this um, uh, this uh, command. It's a terminal.exe. In this case, it's the terminal.exe is located under my desktop which is in this folder, and I'm telling it to run in a portable mode. Um, well, that's, that's basically it. Uh, I can close my browser, but the container will still run and my MetaTrader uh, platform will run. I don't know yet how to bust this solution. And nevertheless, uh, this is a very interesting option, which uh, I welcome you to try. Thanks a lot for watching.